funding issues. So we have neutrophils, one of the inflammatory mediators which activate. They release proteases, cytokines, and reactive oxygen species. This migration and this mediator release causes an increase in the permeability of the capillaries of the lung. And like we said, it has a very rich blood supply. So this is kind of like a knock-on effect. So then more inflammatory mediators cross over into this barrier between the, the blood supply and the lungs. And the same is happening the other way around. So the end result is the type 1 and type 2 alveolar cells start to die, basically. And this causes swellings. We have the formation of a hyaline membrane and loss of the pulmonary surfactant. And this pulmonary surfactant is what's preventing the, the alveoli collapsing. So we, we're leaning more towards collapse of the alveoli and this is making gas exchange difficult. So this is what's occurring pathophysiologically. Here is an x-ray showing healthy lungs and another x-ray showing someone with acute respiratory distress syndrome. You can see on the one who has the, the, the syndrome, you can see on both sides of the lungs we have whiteness, these white patches, it's quite a big uh, appearance. This is known as bilateral opacification. Opacity or op opacification when you're looking at an x-ray just means whiteness as opposed to uh, shading. So. We have bilateral opacification on both sides of the lungs. 